It is the end of July 2022, and I think it's time for a market update. I mean, normally we would do two broad presentations a year, but I think, you know, with a lot of stuff going on, it's time to get behind the camera. As many of you know, um, we like to do two broad presentations per year. You know, for example, in 2021, we did Unhinged, Peak Pest Control M&A in the Era of Monetary Madness. And then we did Supernova, and we did Supernova, I think, in June. And Supernova was... M&A in the late stages of the consolidation boom. And what I had been trying to do for I think the last 17 or 18 years is basically keep every one of our clients steps and steps ahead of everyone else in the market. Unhinged was in January of 2021. And effectively, it was the era of peak monetary madness, right? We had a Federal Reserve increasing its balance sheet by trillions of dollars. We had the era of GameStop, AMC, of Bitcoin. In January of 2021, I think we absolutely nailed it. We said that 2021 was going to be the year of scarcity and the year where multiples increased north of 15 times EBITDA and north of four times revenue. And over the course of 2021, our clients that were positioned and prepared to sell received the absolute highest transaction multiples ever in the history of the pest control industry. In 2022, as the market began to roll over, as inflation began to print higher, central banks around the world, all you have to do is look at CNBC, the Wall Street Journal, Financial Times, you realize they're hiking. All of them, all the central banks around the world are tightening monetary policy after just 13 years of batshit crazy policy. And so pest control operators, like owners of any other financial asset, benefited over the last 13 or 14 years as governments have increased fiscal policy, as central banks have increased their balance sheet, forcing interest rates through the floor and basically driving up the prices of assets. In 2022, we've seen a reversal of, of really what we've seen over the last 40 years, right? We've got bond yields have decreased for 40 years. Now we've got interest rates on the rise. We had you know, 40 years of advancing globalization. We're starting to see that post COVID, those supply chains break down. We're starting to see asset prices. You know, We spent 40 years watching asset prices going up. We're in the era now where that is changing. And so in order to prepare our clients, we did you know, Unhinged, then Supernova, and then Bubble Trouble. You know, I think right now we have seen the very high end of the, the market in the private market and pest control roll over about 20%. So where we are in July of 2022, we've seen the top ends of transaction multiples decrease about 20%. But for the most part, for scarce resources, for scarce assets out there, and in some cases, and quite frankly, in a lot of the types of deals that we do, we're seeing transaction multiples of at or around four times revenue, and somewhere in the 11 to 15 times EBDA range. As many of you know, private equity has really shown an interest in the last four or five years in this industry. Slowly but surely, they've increased their footprint. Um, as I've talked about on the boardroom buzz quite a bit, Almost every transaction that we execute now has maybe between 25 and 30 private equity firms. I fully expect by the end of 2022 to see six or seven private equity players in the North American domestic pest control market. I think that'll provide opportunities for those of you that have rare platforms. Um, I think there'll be premiums paid for those. I think it'll reward some of you that have high quality businesses and, and that there'll be a decent amount of tuck-ins. But at the end of the day, like what we talked about in Bubble Trouble, and you can look online and um, you can look at our, our, our YouTube page, and it doesn't really matter what's going on in the pest control industry as much as it matters what's going on in the global macro environment. And so when global stock indices decrease 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%, at the end of the day, that rolls into the private markets. And we're beginning to see acceleration in the decline in multiples. For me, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I, I In my own investing, I, I expect to see transaction multiples be about half of what they were at the peak in Q3 and Q4 of 2021. So when you look at transactions that priced at five times revenue, you know, I think about this time next year, it's very likely that the top of that will be 2.5 times revenue. And for the smaller businesses, it will be even lower. As I said on Bubble Trouble, I, I fully expect 
transaction multiples to ultimately mean revert to that 0.75 to 1.25 times revenue. Uh, I, I don't think it'll happen by next year, but who the heck knows, anything can happen. I think if you are in a position to execute a transaction this year, if you're gonna take your business to market and you wanna sell it, um, you have to keep in mind that there's a lot of seasonality in the M&A cycle. So for example, it's summer now. Most of your comrades in the industry look around when it, August, September, October, and that's when they take their businesses to market due to the seasonality of pest control, right? A lot of the cash comes in in the summer, it's time to sell in the fall. Um, typically in Q3 and Q4 every year, we see very, very con congested pipelines. So my suggestion to you is if you're prepared, now's the time to bring it out to market to try to beat that year-end congestion. Um, what we're going to be doing over the course of the uh, next couple of weeks here is I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the sell side process. You know, I get a ton of questions on valuation, on the pricing and mispricing of assets. So we're going to be doing a segment on that. We're going to be doing a segment, a deeper segment on understanding private equity and strategic acquires, how to make decisions as to what you should do when you ultimately go to market. And we'll be doing that over the next coming weeks. So thank you for joining me today.